Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another preview and predictions video. The team that we're going to be taking an in-depth look at today is our 2024 to 25 Cincinnati Bengals NFL football squad. We're going to do a complete preview of their roster, seeing what pieces they added from last season, what pieces they're adding for this season, but also doing a predictions portion over their schedule. So we're going to go game by game, see which games we think they're going to win, which games we think they're going to lose, and what we predict their final record will be. Go ahead, hit that. That like button and subscribe if you have any comments drop them below and i will make sure to respond so our 2024 cincinnati Bengals. this is a team that after last season left a lot to be desired because there's a lot of things that just did not end up happening for them due to injuries last season they came in the last season with high hopes massive expectations but they were derailed the moment joe burrow went down with his injury vegas though has high expectations for the 2024 season since this team should be a lot healthier. Vegas right now predicts them to come in with 10 and a half wins. That's definitely playoff caliber. That's going to get you in the playoffs. They've been to the Super Bowl recently. They can get their back. This is a very talented squad. Head coach Zach Taylor does have his work cut out for him because when Doe Bro went down last season, they missed the playoffs, but they still had a respectable season nonetheless. They didn't have a great season, but they actually didn't perform as bad as you would have thought the moment that Joe Burrow went down. But this is an entirely different team when Joe Burrow plays. We know that there was a couple games when they just didn't have a quarterback that could get them over the hump when he went down. When he's playing, this is a Super Bowl caliber team. When he plays, he makes up for any of the deficiencies that this roster has on it. Burrow is... He got his check. He makes the big money now. Now, this is probably going to cause some cap and some contract issues later on down the line, but it is what it is right now. He's your star quarterback. He's now getting paid like a star quarterback. I don't think that this was a year where, um, with Joe Burrow being out, now he's back in and makes him playoff team instantly. Burrow is the MVP on this team. They go as far as he's capable of carrying them in the playoffs. He has a long list of injuries through, throughout his career, going back to when he was at Ohio State, then LSU, and now at Cincinnati. But word is he's 100% healthy, so we expect to see 100% production from him. Now, when they made the Super Bowl a few years ago, their biggest weakness was their offensive line. It was a cruel joke. He was getting sacked often. He was getting sacked a lot. One of the most sacked quarterbacks the season they went to the Super Bowl and obviously the pressure, the hits that he was taking led to him getting injured this past season. So job number one for the offensive coordinator, Dan Pitcher, is to make sure to keep Burrow upright, keep him healthy, keep him from taking those unnecessary hits. Jonah Williams, he's gone, but they have managed to sign Trent Brown. They've signed, they, they have Mims, they have Brown Jr., they have Cordell Volson, they have Karras, they have Kappa. So hopefully the added depth should be an anchor for them on the line with the Bengals. Now, they do have the running back Zach Moss coming in. Running back Joe Milton is going out. He's now gone. The Bengals do also have one of the deepest one-two punches in the NFL when it comes to the wide receiver position. They have Higgins. They have Chase. Now, Higgins was just franchise tag. He's not very happy about that. Chase, though, he's getting paid the big dollars. But that's part of that salary cap problem that I mentioned. They had to franchise tag Higgins. That's not something that's going to be permanent going forward. He wants to get paid. They're not going to have the money to pay him. So him being on this team is short-lived as of right now. So enjoy him this season while you have both of them. They're both great, but there is some salary cap issues. Everybody can't get paid. Chase and Higgins, they will seek to keep the defense honest. When they play, they open up the vertical passing game. So that should also open up some room for the running game to be able to be effective, taking some pressure off of the offensive line. Now, Mike Gusecki also comes in at the tight end position. He didn't have a good season last year, but he is a proven pass catcher at the tight end. So that's also going to help to continue to open up that passing game. For the defensive quarter, you have Lou Anamaruno. He will need to get more out of this defense than we saw in previous seasons. The defense was not good last season. The Bengals, they're also having contract issues with Trey Hendrickson. 
He wants a trade as of right now. If they lose him, he's one of the anchors on defense. That would be a massive loss. The defense overall cannot afford it if he leaves. Like I said, they weren't good last season. They can't lose their best player, but they still have Hubbard. They have Rankins. They had the linebackers, Wilson and Pratt. Dax Hill returns. Von Bell, Geno Stone, Battle, Britt, Turner, Hilton. There's a lot of guys there. There's a lot of players coming back. Hopefully, they're better another year with the D.C. and uh, with the head coach. So you can only hope that they continue to get better every single season. But let's go ahead and take a look at their schedule. Let's see how we have the Bengals doing during the season. Sunday, September 8th, they start the season out versus the New England Patriots. That's obviously going to be a win. The Patriots were awful last season. Obviously, they got rid of the GOAT himself, but they didn't get much better. They didn't get better through the draft. They didn't make very many signings in the offseason. Their defense might be serviceable at best, but the offense is going to still be pretty bad. Look for Cincinnati to get an easy win here, start out the season 1-0. Next game, Sunday, September 15th at Kansas City. They're going to Kansas City. This is going to be a fun game. These are two teams that have played one another before. They have a little bit of a rivalry going on. You have two of the better quarterbacks in the NFL, two of the better offenses. But one thing Kansas City has that the Bengals don't, they're going to be coming in there with a top three defense. I think that's what's going to make a difference. They also added Worthy through the draft. It's kind of like a new hill for them. They're going to be able to go to vertical, run, play solid defense. I have the Chiefs winning this one, dropping to the Bengals 2-1-1. One and one. Next game of the season, Monday, September 23rd versus Washington. Washington's made a lot of changes. Coaching staff at the quarterback position. They weren't bad last season. They were a serviceable team. They could sometimes score some on offense, but their defense was atrocious. They're probably going to be better this season just because they can't get any worse, but they're not going to be able to stop the Bengals from being able to score touchdowns. Look for the Bengals to win this one, and they're now 2-1. and one. Next game, Sunday, September 29th at Carolina. Carolina went 2-15 and 15 last season. They're not going to do much better this year. They might go maybe a 4-13, and 13, 5 and 12 at best. Bryce Young had a lot of questions last season. They will be better this year. There's no doubt about that, but they were literally the worst team in the NFL last season. Look for Cincinnati to put a beat down on them, win it, and they're now 3 and 1. Next game of the season, Sunday, October 6th versus Baltimore. Baltimore, one of the best teams in the NFL, a top 3 team easy. They have a top 3 defense, top 3 offense. They have two-time MVP Lamar Jackson, they have Mark Andrews coming back as the tight end. He did miss a lot of last season. This is going to be a really good team, but I'm actually going to go with the Bengals to win this one, but I do think they will be the underdogs, but I have them pulling this one out, and they're going to move to 4-1. and one. Next game of the season, Sunday, October 13th at the New York Giants. The Giants, obviously, with the Daniel Jones signing, that was a complete mistake. They had high expectations last season, completely fell off the rails. They had a good last one or two months, but it wasn't good enough to resurrect their season. I have Cincinnati beating them here, winning, and they're moving to 5-1. and one. Next game, Sunday, October 20th at Cleveland. Always a tough place to play. Cleveland has a lot of potential. They're just never healthy. <clears throat> last season, running back injuries, quarterback injuries, wide receiver injuries, defensive injuries, and they still made it to the playoffs. They're going to have a solid defense. They're going to be a lot healthier on offense. I'm actually going to go with Cleveland to get the win at home. This is going to be a low-scoring, slug-it-out game, probably a line of scrimmage game, and I think that's it, that that will favor Cleveland. And this drops the Bengals to 5-2. and two. Next game is Sunday, October 27th versus Philadelphia. This is another team that has a lot of potential but didn't really grasp it last season. They went to the Super Bowl two years ago. They were riding pretty hot last season until the last one or two months, and then Hurts started playing bad. The offensive line was bad. The defense started getting in the shootouts every single game. They're better than that. Look for them to be a little more consistent this season. I, I have the Bengals kind of just being a little banged up at this midway point of the year, dropping back-to-back -back games here, losing this one, and they're 5-3. and three. But no reason to panic. Next game, Sunday, November 3rd versus Las Vegas Raiders. Raiders obviously had a really strong second half under Pierce. They played really well, but they have a lot of issues. They have quarterback questions. They haven't solved that. They have, they have the running back sorted out. They have a solid defense, but obviously Cincinnati's a way better team with a lot more weapons. Cincinnati's going to win this one, and they're going to move to 6-3. and three. Next game, Thursday, November 7th at Baltimore. So now we're going to Baltimore to play the Ravens. I did have Cincinnati winning the first matchup, but now we're on the road at Baltimore. 
I have them splitting this game one and one. I don't think the Bengals are going to beat them twice. I don't think the Ravens are going to beat the Bengals twice. So I have the Bengals winning the second matchup, and that drops the Bengals to six and four. Next matchup, we have Sunday, November 17th at the LA Chargers. Another tough team to play. They have Harbaugh coming in as the coach. He's revamping the team on defense and offense. One of the better rosters is just due to coaching issues. They could never get everything right during the regular season. They do have a talented defense when they're coached well. They do have Justin Herbert. He has a lot of weapons. I have this game being a complete shootout, but I have the Bengals having the ball last and getting the win and they move to 7-4. and four. Next game, Sunday, December 1st, versus Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, you know, they might have the quarterback situation sorted out. We know that under Tomlin, they're going to have a solid defense, but quarterback has been the issue ever since Big Ben retired. This is going to be a close game. The defense will keep it close for the Steelers, but I also have the Bengals winning this one and moving to 8-4. and four. Next game, Monday night at Dallas. Always a tough place to play at Dallas Cowboys. Their top five team, easy. Top three defense, top five offense. They have Dak Prescott, C.D. Lamb, an extremely talented defense that should be healthy as long as there's no injuries. Look for Dallas to win at home. Bengals are 8-5. and five. Next game, Sunday, December 15th at Tennessee. Tennessee's been completely gutted. They're not going to be good on defense, not good on offense. They need a complete rebuild. Look for Cincinnati to rebound here, get the win. They're 9-5. and five. Next game, Thursday, December 19th versus Cleveland. Like I said, Cleveland, very talented. I have the physicality being the kicker here. This is the Amazon Prime game. I have Cleveland again winning, dropping the Bengals to 9-6. and six. Next game, Sunday, December 29th versus Denver. Denver, Sean Payton, Bo Nix. Not much talent on this team. They underperformed last season. I think they're going to underperform this season. They're not a bad team. They're just not a good team. Bengals are definitely better. They're going to win it. They're 10 and 6. Final game of the season, Sunday, January 5th at Pittsburgh. Tough place to play, especially with the Steelers' defense. They're going to perform really well at home. I think this game, just like the first one, going to be a really close game, last possession game, a potential field goal type game. But I have the Bengals finishing this season on a high note, riding into the playoffs, winning this one, finishing the regular season 11 and 6. So I have our 2024 Cincinnati Bengals finishing the season 11 and 6. So I am going with the over. Vegas has them at 10 and a half. I have them coming in at 11 wins, potentially winning the division. But nonetheless, they're making the playoffs no matter what. Getting back to the playoffs because Joe Burrow is healthy. He's the leader on this team. He gets them there. And we'll see what kind of run they could put together once they get to the playoffs. But that's our breakdown of the Bengals. Go ahead, hit that like button, and subscribe. If you have any comments, drop them below, and I will respond. Thank you.